guys, so this song is called Always Wear Your Seatbelt, and unlike most songs, I'm actually going to take a few minutes to just kind of explain the history to this song, because it really does mean a lot to me, and I would really like for you guys to listen to it. Um, so typically it takes me like uh, an hour to a week at most to write a song, but this song actually was lingering out there for about a year and a half before I completed it. Um, it all started, I was sitting at cookout, and I was getting lunch for my boyfriend, and I took a selfie, and when I posted it on Facebook, I noticed that you could see my seatbelt, which I always wear when I'm driving. And so I, I captioned it, always wear your seatbelt. And then I was like, that'd kind of be a cool song title. I should write a song called that about life advice, like always brush your teeth, always look both ways before you cross the road and always wear your seatbelt. So I kind of started with it and then it just kind of got lost in space until about a year and a half later when I went to visit my friend Stephanie, um, who loves um, listening to me write songs and her kids were really enjoying um, dancing to me playing the guitar, which was super cute. Uh, so anyway, um, while, we, while all this was going on, we were kind of reflecting on our recent and our past. Um, we've known each other since middle school. And we were talking about how social media has such a big effect on young people these days. And us particularly, me particularly, how I kind of just lived my life through this filter and just didn't really live my life. And I lost and ruined so many good things that I had going for me because of these things. And how it really sucks that kids these days are probably going to do the same thing that I did. So then we actually ran across the always wear your seatbelt photo and we were like, hey, I should finish that song and use this social media reflective kind of style so uh, songwriting incorporated in always wear your seatbelt. So that's kind of where it started. And I kind of wanted to take a little bit of a, di a different approach to the reflective songs like, you know, the ones where you say, what would you tell your 16 year old self if you could go back eight or 10 years ago? Um, most people would say, oh, this, 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 this is so bad, everything's so bad, but that's not really how I see it. Not everything is bad. There are some good things, and there's some bad things. You, you have to take it, but not everyone is going to lead you in the right direction. Like, all adults, like most people are like, oh, you should listen to this person. You shouldn't listen to everybody, but your experiences are few, so you should just take a step back sometimes and take it slow. Um, but my purpose in, in this song is just that, not only to reflect on my own life and how I should have handled things differently, but how... I would really like people to be able to relate to this song and if maybe just one young person would just really really listen and take in the lyrics and just not turn out like me uh that would just mean everything so i really hope you guys enjoy this song this is always wear your seatbelt mess of color when you look back you captured every photo but the feelings you forgot I promise life looks better when you take the filter off you're gonna be broken that's okay Get on busy streets to look both ways When you're alone Don't forget how you felt Life's a wild ride Always wear your seatbelt Say you don't know what love is Don't stay young and growing up too quick But you do come and your feelings and he's got you captivated the chances are you'll love it again find living fast is overrated you're gonna be broken that's okay Okay. You're gonna be chosen. 
Tracy Belt. Thanks, guys. <laughs>